Greetings. This is Ham Radio Test and Review. My name is Dave. My call sign is N8DAV, and the motto for my channel is One Test is Worth a Thousand Expert Opinions. Today I'm bringing you a little bit different uh, video again. Um, in this particular case, I was doing some distance testing using the um, Baofeng UV5R Mini radios. I used one as my uh, repeater, um, Parrot repeater or store and for forward repeater um, at my shack. And uh, I took the other one out in the field and uh, did some testing with it. And then I used my uh, mobile radio in my truck and started driving uh, quite a few miles away. I think I started around at the four or five mile mark and uh, kept driving until uh, I couldn't uh, hit the repeater any longer. So um, I my maximum distance I've ever done with any radio uh, and with an amplifier was about uh, 10 miles. That was about 40 watts. Um, but uh, today, um, I think you'll be surprised how far I got with the UV5R minis. No amplifiers attached, all right? So uh, when you come back, I'll, we'll, uh, you'll find me doing some, uh, some testing, and, uh, and then I'll be back at the very end to give you my opinion. I'll be right back. N8DAV, testing one, two, three, four. N8 DAV testing one two three four five. N8 DAV testing one two three four five. All right, I'm out here at Fox Glen Park, Flagstaff, Arizona, and I have to apologize to you. I forgot my tripod uh, with me, so I'm uh, just holding the camera up as steady as I possibly can, which as you can see is not very steady. Um, but as you know, I am testing the Baofeng UV5R mini radios. I have the one set up as a repeater um, at my shack, and I have the other one out here with me right here. So let's uh, try it out. Let's see how it works as a repeater um, and as a client. N8DAV, testing one, two, three, four. All right, well, that was uh, a fair test. Um, as you know, I rank these tests um, uh, excellent, good, fair, and poor. Uh, poor, uh, you cannot hold the uh, repeater open or hit the repeater at all. Um, as uh, fair, you can uh, get uh, to the repeater. Repeater gets back to you with uh, a fair amount of static, uh, which is uh, how I rank, rank this and rate this. Um, good would be uh, getting back to the repeater, the repeater coming back with um, some static, but uh, you know maybe a little bit to some. And then uh, excellent would be getting back with little to no static whatsoever. So um, as a repeater and as a client, um, I'm 2.6 to 2.7 miles from my shack. I've got uh, plenty of uh, foliage, uh, trees, um, a house or two, uh, and a um, a, uh, a little bit of a hill that uh, is kind of in between here. And then uh, also I have a freeway overpass uh, that uh, is also helping to block the, uh, uh, the signal. So um, considering all that and the fact that these radios are right about uh, four watts on the ham bands, I think it's doing pretty good. Uh, how about you? All right. Uh, when you get back, uh, I'll just give you my opinion and let you know what I think. Okay. Be right back. All right. I'm starting off the journey now um, with um, going, doing some range testing. Now I use um, range testing, I use the mobile rig that I have here in my truck. It's an ICOM 2730A. Um, it puts out 5, 15, and 50 watts. Uh, so um, that's what I use when I do my range testing. I'm still over here at Fox Glen Park. So you can see that uh, I'm not going anywhere yet, but uh, I'm not going to start the range testing until I get to the four to five mile mark. And then I'm going to start on my journey out towards the 10 mile mark. So um, we will be starting this, like I said, at the four to five uh, mile mark. But just so you know, um, and I want you to hear uh, here in Fox Glen Park, um, how well the repeater gets uh, back to me uh, using 5 watts on my ICOM 2730. N8DAV, 
Testing one, two, three, four. ADAV, testing one, two, three, four. As you can hear, very, very little static. I mean, that's just very, very nice. So you know that when I do my testing with the HTs uh, to the same repeater that you just saw earlier in this video, um, that a lot of that static that you were hearing coming back from the repeater was actually static that was being sent to the repeater from the HT that I had. Because with a 5-watt radio, uh, with a good antenna on my SUV here, same exact distance, you hear how clear and how static-free the uh, return was on the repeater because I've got a really good base station antenna. All right, so uh, next time you see me, I'll be at the four to five mile mark, and then we'll start heading out and seeing how far we can get with these uh, UV5R Mini as a repeater. Be right back. All right. I am uh, haven't quite got onto the 17 southbound yet. Uh, I'm sorry, the uh, 40 westbound. I'm sorry about that. Um, so um, just wanted to show you what it's like. I'm still below the freeway. N8 DAV testing 1, 2, 3, 4. N8 DAV testing 1, 2, 3, 4. So on 5 watts, I'm still getting out to my uh, repeater. And... Um, Doing, uh, doing okay. All right, be right back. All right. I'm uh, right about at the five-mile mark now. I'm just getting on to the 17 South, uh, 89A South. Uh, let's test it and see what we got. N8 DAV, testing one, two, three, four. N8 DAV, testing one, two, three, four. All right, that's pretty staticky there, guys, and a uh, very weak signal. But uh, let me uh, continue on here, and uh, let's see how things go. I'll be right back. All right, I'm right here at the six-mile mark. Let's try it. NADAV, testing one, two, three, four. NADAV, testing one, two, three, four. All right, a little bit of static, good signal, and that was on 5 watts on my radio. So let's try it again at 7 miles. All right, here we are, 7 miles. NADAV, testing 1, 2, 3, 4. DAV, testing 1, 2, 3, 4. Uh, we're hitting, I think we're hitting about the, almost about the maximum here, especially since I'm going to be going down uh, below the horizon here pretty soon. So I'll be right back. At the eight mile mark. All right, here we are at the eight mile mark. Let's see what we get. N A D A V testing one two three four. All right, nothing. Let me put it up to fifty watts and see if I can get to it. N A D A V testing one two three four. No, that's it. So we got eight miles out of a three and a half four watt radio um, and five watts on my end here. So I think that's pretty darn good for a little uh, HT walkie-talkie that costs uh, less than 25 bucks. And, um, you know, uh, I, I really can't complain So uh, for with that kind of an investment. So the, the radios work really well. Um, and uh, what else can I say? I'll be right back. All right, so what did we learn today? Well, uh, what we learned was is that um, using the um, uh, Baofeng UV5R Mini with a signal stick, signal stick uh, on top um, and also using uh, the other one that I have with um, at my shack uh, using a, a store and forward type repeater from Reds Engineering. A great little repeater controller by the way. It, it works really really well um, and it's uh, tough as nails too by the way. Um, the um, I got about uh, well I got 2.6 to 2.7 miles uh, using the um, signal stuff signal stick uh, and then I got a fair uh, report uh, from the repeater at my shack. Um, there was a lot of static, but the modulation was clear and uh, you could completely understand no problems. All right. So that was, uh, to me, that was a fair test. Um, and as you know, I rate uh, my tests uh, excellent, good, fair, and poor. Um, then I went and got uh, into my truck and took off and started off at the, about the four to five mile mark and uh, started using my 5-watt uh, um, ICOM radio in my truck, and I started uh, working the repeater uh, back at my shack. Uh, once again, we're looking only at like 3.5, 4 watts for the, um, for the UV5R Mini, 
And uh, I got uh, just about eight miles before I started losing it. And, and for a three and a half, four watts, that's very, very good. Um, there was a lot of static. There was a little bit of trouble understanding, uh, you know, the, the, the words that I was saying into it uh, as it coming back. But um, still, it was understandable. So I think that came out really, really well. And I, I hope you guys enjoy the, uh, the video of me testing the, um, the two Baofeng UV5R minis uh, in, uh, in that uh, uh, configuration. And so anyway, my name is Dave. Uh, my call sign's N8DAV, and I have a motto for my channel. That's one test is worth a thousand expert opinions. You got a lot of testing today. You got to see a lot of good stuff. All right. And if you like the uh, content that I provide, please consider subscribing to my channel and clicking uh, like on this video. Uh, and also, if you want to see more uh, content that I'm released, uh, please uh, click on the bell icon. Uh, so you'll be notified uh, when I do release the content. So anyway, uh, once again, this is Dave with uh, Ham Radio Test and Review saying 73 and so long.